hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back welcome back guess who's back anyway who remembers that song <laughs> i'm sure the kids don't remember anyway we are going to start off with skin prepping our skin and we have just applied our luronic acid followed by this maybelline fit me primer and this is their luminous primer just to make sure that our skin is looking nice and fresh and that you know it's getting all the good things fast yeah and then now we're going to as usual go ahead with our eyebrows i don't think i've ever done any makeup look starting with something else other than eyebrows i'll be honest with you guys i'm addicted i start with my eyebrows first and then go do the rest of my face and the worst part is i've never perfected eyebrows like i just try and wing it but anyway we've done our brows and then now we're going to use this rimmel kind and free concealer and we're just going to use it as an eyeshadow primer or an eyeshadow base so we are going to tap it on our eyelids and then because this is a purple look did i say it was a purple look in the first place i don't think so but it's a purple nice shiny <laughs> type of look yeah but basically all the colors that i'm going to use in this look will be shades of purple yeah so we are just starting with this plain powdery purple color that we're just going to apply on the outer corner of our eyes is this violet or lilac i'm not sure it's one of those so i've just applied that first shade of purple in the outer corner of my eye and then for the inner corner i'm going to with a lighter shade of purple and all these are powdery purples they are not shiny they are not shimmer colors they're just plain powdery purples so the same same one that i've applied in the inner corner of my eye i'm going to apply it next to my eyebrow just to create a gradient effect as you guys can see very beautiful looks very gradienty what i'm doing on my eyes is not blending i'm just applying another shade of purple to the center of my eyes which is a shimmer shade of purple that's what i've applied to the center of my eyes and now that is i move so fast with my videos i don't know if you can keep up i hope you're keeping up i've just used the estee lauder pencil it's a purple pencil it's in the shade violet and I've just used it as eyeliner. It's an eyeliner pencil and that's what I've used as eyeliner, what I was applying just on my lower lid, on my waterline basically. And then now we're going to do our foundation and we're using the Rimmel Kind and Free Foundation. And this is the shade Deep Mocha. It's, I think the lighting went a bit crazy, but when you when the lighting adjusts, you're going to see that it's a really beautiful color that is actually like my skin tone shade. So this is a skin tint, it's not very opaque and it is just, you know, it gives you a little bit of color to your skin. It doesn't like, it's not a full coverage foundation. Yeah, so we are going to apply it all over our skin using a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. If you want the best results, just dampen your beauty blender. That way it will spread better. It will, you know, the application will be much, much better. So after applying our foundation, we are going to do, with the same, same Rimmel Kind and Free Concealer, we are going to do our eyes, eye bags. The correct word is eye bags, because clearly those are not our eyes. We are going to like um, brighten the under eye area. Most of the time when you use a concealer or when you see someone using a concealer, it's for brightening the areas that are naturally dark, because younger, youthful skin tends to look brighter in those areas so you want to brighten your under eyes remove any shadows around your mouth so on your upper and lower mouth just above the lips basically not on the lips you also apply concealer and also on the bridge of the nose where the light hits your face you can also apply concealer there and make sure that it's a few shades lighter don't be like me and use like five shades lighter than your skin tone unfortunately i've been picking the wrong shades because i buy my makeup online I never buy it from a physical store so don't buy a concealer that is like five shades lighter than your normal skin tone buy one that is one or two shades lighter than your normal skin tone then we're just going to take a setting powder and apply it where we applied the concealer which is just on our forehead on the bridge of our nose and under eyes also and then now we are using blush and this is a really cool toned sheer blush that I got just off the Boho website. They launched their beauty brand, so I decided to test it out. It doesn't have any color to it. It's very, very sheer, especially on dark skin, not visible. 
but I still use it. And then I'm going to do a nose contour and I'm just going to use a bronzer shade to do that. And after that, I'm going to do my lips. So I'm just going to like draw an X. No, I changed my mind. I was not going to draw an X. I decided to do those Gen Z lips where you just cover up your filter and, you know, a straight line at the top of your lips. So that's what I did. And I did use a black pencil again. As I always say in all of my videos, don't use a black pencil if you're not going to blend thoroughly. So I'm just going to like blend that out. And then I'm going to apply this um, Keep It Mellow lipstick. I absolutely love this lipstick. It's one of those lipsticks that... And this lipstick has a really funny story to it when I purchased it. But that's a story for another day. So this lipstick, I have just applied it like three times or something to create this gradient effect and then i'm going to go in with a lip gloss and i'm just going to cover all over my lips with a lip gloss and then we will have our final look and it's going to be stunning this is not even a lip gloss it's a lip oil um from makeup revolution so yeah after i apply that we are going to apply setting powder all over our face just to remove any shine my i have really oily skin very very oily skin so I always have to apply like a generous amount of setting powder just to remove the shine. And I also have to top up on setting powder all the time. And then I've just gone in with another powder blush that is more visible. And then of course highlighter, the usual culprit, the NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder. And this is the final look, a very simple look, very, um, I don't know how to put it, I love it but it's so simple. I love it.